Hi there, welcome back. Last video we did a song using the F C7 chords. Today we're going to do a song using the F and the C chord. Okay, so we know the chords are right, we just have to work on um, the uh, chord changes. And you always look for the shortcuts. First of all, don't forget, get in tune so that you sound good with me. And okay, so back to the F. To go to the C, uh, there's really the only shortcut really is that ring finger is free. So while you're right when you're getting ready to change to it, it could be hovering right over that first finger, and then right when it's due, boom, you lay it down in that first string, third fret, and then you're strumming. And then when you're going back to the F, the first and second fingers are hovering over the second and fourth strings. They jump down on the right frets, and then the third finger lifts off. So let's go ahead and do uh, just like two measures of each. And we're going to be doing the half quarter note strum. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Switch. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Or switch one two three four one two three four switch one two three four one two three four okay and then now we're going to go ahead and do a song we're going to just do an easy one this week there's a children's nursery rhyme Mary had a little lamb so I'll put extra verses in the description so you can sing them to a little person that you know Okay, it's in 4-4 four, four time, so I'll count to 4 we, when we begin. Same strum, the half note quarter. 1, 2, 3, 4. Mary had a little lamb. Switch, little lamb. Switch, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb. Switch. Was white as snow. And if you look in the description, I'll give you a couple of the chords where they're supposed to fall. But after a while, you kind of get in a groove with the song, and you kind of pick up on, oh, okay, it's two measures of uh, the F chord, and then it sounds right when it's time to switch. So then you're on the right one, up, switch back. Okay, so that's one of the skills you're going to have to learn as a, as a ukulele player is to anticipate the chord changes. Especially on a simple two chord song like this, you know it's, it's one of two chords. So, but you're just going to have to listen. Like you wouldn't, like if you hang on to a chord for too long, you, 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 it really makes, it really stands out. You go, oh, I missed it. Like if you're singing, Mary had a little lamb. Little, oops, I should have switched. Little lamb, little, I should have switched back. Little lamb. So you'll kind of get to know that as you get more experience and develop an ear. Okay, and then lastly, I just want to review a few basics that we've talked about before. Uh, number one, don't forget, keep your fingernails trimmed. There shouldn't be any whites. There shouldn't be a lot of white showing at the top of your finger. It'll make it easier for you to fret your strings. Thumb position. Right now, you know, you don't see my thumb, but some people, and you can't always avoid it, your thumb may come over the top. Ideally, this should be your thumb position about right here. Your thumb is pressing on the back of that, your fingers are pushing against the fretboard. And you're kind of almost making like a C. The one thing you don't want to do is have your hand like this. I notice this with a lot of students I've had in the past where their thumb is just pointing towards the head. And it doesn't, this way the, you know, the meaty part right here is kind of pushing against the neck and it doesn't have the stability of your thumb pushing into the back of the, ne of the neck. The other thing I want to stress was the angle of the neck. You know, a lot of the rock and roll guitarists will hold it like this while they're playing. You know, the thing is, if you go like that, so if I have that get, so if I have the ukulele pointing downward, look at the bend in my wrist. It's going to hurt after a while. So what I want to do is I want to make the angle 
upward like that and then this is what my wrist looks like it's a lot straighter I can play for hours without it hurting and then last thing is work on getting a strap uh, again this is an over-the-shoulder strap that fits in through here I'm not real impressed with it but that's the most I've gotten I did mention about getting some command strips here and here and then looking on YouTube or buying a, 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 a um, ukulele strap uh, so that you can put it around and it works better than this. This to me just gets in the way of the, of the wrist. I'm not a big fan of tying it up over here but it, it, you may have to deal with it. So that's it. Hope you're having fun. Keep practicing. Practice your chord changes, have fun, and sing those songs. See you in the next video.